Hey everybody, this is Ryan. Today I'm going to do a, a series of videos which will more or less show you how I make moving characters. Now, this is not a tutorial. Um, I'm just showing you how I do it. You can follow my steps and in the end you may learn how to make a character, you may not. It's totally based on how you see the video and how you think about it. Now, um, first off, to make a character you need sprites. The places I would recommend would be sprite database. I spelled that wrong. Okay, there. Yeah, sprite database or Spriter's resource. Uh, you can get a link to Spriter's resource right here at the bottom of sprite database. And they're more or less they're almost the exact same, except um, Spriter's resource has more sprites than sprite database. However, you know they have. It's kind of like Pokemon. You know, two versions. One has um, sprites, the other one doesn't. Now, today I'm going to make a character from a DS game called Draglade. Uh, okay, Draglade. And I've decided to work on Sheila, which is right here. Now, the sprites. As you've seen, she is a kind of purplish character, a girl who wields a bow. So you can imagine from just seeing the bow image, you will be using a lot of projectiles usually arrows and stuff and from the looks of it ice is her element now I will add some new little fancy features to her like an elemental bullet system which I've added to Cross and Zeke or Zeki whatever his name is and as you see here Shelly from Draglade, Rip by Grimm, give credit if used which I usually do and I usually recommend most people go to this website spritedatabase.net for sprites now I'll save this image I already have one there, so I'll just override it so we can follow on the same steps. Okay. Now, when you download these sprite sheets, some of them will come in 256 color. A lot of them will not come in 256 color. So what you need to do is you need to convert them to 256 color. The way that I do it is I use PaintShop Pro. Um, you can use Photoshop or GIMP or various other um, image editing softwares. I cannot use GIMP. It confuses the hell out of me. Photoshop also confuses me, so I don't know why. PaintShop is just easier for me to use. The terms for the settings and options are just simpler. Now, let's see. Once this finished loading, hmm, takes quite a while. A bit too long. I wonder if it's frozen. No, that's not frozen. Okay, so open up Shelly in Paint Shop Pro. That's taking way too long. And as you can see here, this right here tells you that it's a 24 bit image. Actually, I believe this image is actually 32 bit. Oh, down here you see it says 8 bit channels. But it's still a 24 bit image, and Mugen will not read this. So we're going to remove the most unimportant parts of the image that we really don't need, which would be this. We'll keep her face and the palettes because you don't want these on the palette when you make it. Now let's see. Okay, that's more or less all of it. The ice is going to stay. We'll use the default ice for now. Now you go to image, go to decrease color depth, then 256 color palettes you'll get this window which pops up and shows you the comparison using the various styles of 256 colors as a standard safe one which you you can see color loss right there actually look boom ugly this one even uglier this one hell no so we're gonna use Octree optimize Octree with error diffusion that's my personal preference to use and reduce color bleeding which is not necessary in this case but it works well for really high color images so hit OK you see now it's a bunch of boxes and colors this means that it's a 256 color image so we're gonna save it and we can close that off now I use a program called iDraw I'm pretty sure no one else uses this program currently at all because this program was made for RPG Maker way back in say the year 1999 or 2000 it was meant for RPG Maker 95 but I used it since 2000 and it more or less shows the sprite sheet and the palette for the character and it's kind of a mess here right now 
but uh, I guess I could fix it, but I'm not sure if it's really worth it. But let me, let's take a test of something. All right, so let's see if we can change her shirt to blue. Oh, red. Yeah, red. That's a good color. So right click, take that color, double click on this, and set the hue to zero. Okay. Now, as you can see from changing this one color here, it takes her boots, her clothes, and her bow. That's not a good thing either. Too much, uh, yeah, she, it, the color just takes up too much of her body. I would like to color separate her, but that would just kill the point of this whole tutorial video thing. Uh, testing, okay. Okay, so her palettes will uh, more or less be kind of monotoned, I guess. Yeah, that's unfortunate that she has to be monotoned like this. But I, I guess it's okay, so let's put her back to normal colors. Now, I'm going to open a new image with, say, 200, 200. This way, any of her sprites will fit within this box range. I will open this image up in paint. Drag off to one side, I draw, drag off the other side. Now this kind of thing is tedious, but it is possible to use a program such as, um, ah, I forget the name of it. It was a program made for Mugen that uh, rips sprites for you, basically. Let me see, maybe I can find it here in Mugen Guild. That's... Okay, let's see. Tools. Nope. Nothing here. Miscellaneous. Nope. Nothing there. And none of these options. Development resource. And by the way, Mugen Guild is an excellent place to go for sprites, sounds, and various other rips by people. Okay, I think Spriters, I mean, Sprite Database has the, um, the program. Let's see, go to Downloads here. Ah, yes, Alfred Sprite Sheet Unpacker. Now, what I normally do is I would go up to her like this and cut and paste. Then I would save it. Make a new folder for her. Ah, uh, Shelly. And name this stats 000. And this process will go on for more or less the entire sheet and everything else. However, thanks to the Alfred program, this has been minimized to merely seconds, whereas that would take me, say, 10, 15, 20 minutes. So, Alfred Unpacker. Drag and drop here, okay. I will drag Shelly, put her in there. It's going to do a scanning of her. Let's see if this works out. <clears throat> you know, whoever this problem is genius. But for some type of effect, it's really a hassle, if anything. There we go. And you see all of these uh, blue boxes around her. Those are what's more or less going to be ripped. See how this is separate? If I'm correct, either that and that. And what it, it's not right click. I forgot what you do to do that. But, anyways, it's going to rip everything within it. it's, its own blue box. Oh, good. It didn't separate these. Good. This is kind of okay here. Alright, if anything, I'll rip the effects myself later on. I just need her sprites to get started. So. Export. 
export to Shelly. Okay. And it's going to export all these sprites into Shelly. Ah, well, just the two sprites that I picked. Let's see, is there a way to select all? I guess there is not a way to select all. I just have to do that manually. That kind of sucks. How do you make a program like this and you don't put a select all option? Okay, so let's just start off with the stance, I guess. Okay, so stance. Scroll up, scroll up, and the basic 5000 stuff. This. Okay, this. This, this. See, this is part of 2, that's not good. Okay, so we'll just use that for now. We'll export that to Shelly. Okay, so that's that. Now we'll just take a quick look at the sprites. Now remember, iDraw I use as a, um, a secondary program to check the sprites. If it can open in iDraw, it can open in Mugen for sure. And look, 24-bit blah, 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 question marks. That means it became a 24-bit image and will not work in Mugen. Which means all of this is gone to waste. Damn you, Alfred. You've ruined me and my video. So I am left to do it the manual way, the way I normally do it. The good thing about the way I normally do it is that I can easily mess with the sprites myself for uh, custom sprites or whatever. So that's that's a good thing. Now let's see. Okay, I have the first stance image. Zoom in, take this color, take the back color, select all, transparent selection, erase this because I have it already. Okay. So that's stance zero zero zero. Now going to stance zero zero one. Now you have to bear with me here because I've never used a screen capturing program before. So um, my uh, things I do on the computer may be slowed down a bit, considering I have a semi decent computer. It was pretty good like three years ago. Now it's you know old by three years. So more or less I, I do this for the entire sheet and for characters I don't essentially add their effects onto their um, onto their palettes but for her I'll make the exception for the sake of just showing people how it's done easily without doing something overly complicated. I don't believe in doing complicated things and this is fairly simple I'm sure. It's just copy and pasting and what goes on here basically is that when you copy from a uh, any image and you paste it in iDraw, iDraw will force the image to use the palette and the colors available on the palette. So if it's the same colors, it'll automatically take it. And it's also first come first serve on terms of top to bottom. Like if there's two purples, like one on the top here and one at the bottom here, this won't be taken first because it's on top. And I don't know if I save this, so I'm just gonna save it again. She has a lot of dance sprites. Why is that? Okay. Oh, she blinks. Does she blink? Yeah, she blinks. Huh. Okay. And she closed her eyes. Huh. Twelve. Okay. Thirteen. And the good thing about sprite sheets from a uh, sprite websites are that they're mostly labeled so you won't have any trouble figuring out what the heck that is and what the heck that is I like, see this is block this is obviously get ready to block uh, block and blocking a hit or it could be it could be wrong it could be the other way around actually okay now I'm gonna continue doing this and in the next video I will show you guys how to start building the SFF and actually start working on the character. So I will talk to you later. Bye bye.